My first instrument's guitar. I've only played guitar really my whole life. Yeah. And um, sort of, was your musical education and journey more informal or more formal? Well, I I'd say uh, formally informal. <laughs> it was I might say my musical education was formally informal in that. You know, I took lessons as a kid, and then I went to Berkeley for two years, Berkeley College of Music, and, um, but you know, all the time, I was informally really learning to play from my friends and on my own, just listening to records. You know, I, I think, um, our generation had more chance to play because when we started there were more crappy gigs <laughs> and just weird lounge groups and you know places had live music that that was barely listenable you know but that's how we started to play and you played a lot uh, and that's not happening now so it's harder for musicians just to get around uh, and learn music uh, I, I my what would I guess I would recommend taking any chance you have to to play with other people, uh, even though it might be something that that doesn't seem that great. Just do it anyway, because even if you learn one new song that you didn't know that might inform you about something, or meet the bass player who you like, or whatever, and those are the things that keep you going. The things outside of what you normally want to do uh, will help you in a way that you would never imagine. Uh, first paid gig. I played so many that I didn't get paid for. Um, I remember when the, the, my first band uh, was two accordions, guitar, and drums. No bass. And that was when I was 11. And we played a church gig at a church, a talent show or something. And one of the accordion players detuned my guitar as a joke. And I was flummoxed, but it had made me get it together. Yeah, that wasn't paid though. I, I don't know when I, but you know, when I was, a, we started to play little high school dances where we would make, or junior high school dances and, and the like, the country club, you know, rock band. We'd get paid a couple bucks. But <laughs> I started right from the beginning performing, you know, I mean, uh, on a talent show level as, a, as an 11 year old, you know, but we started to play uh, dances and little functions and uh, clubs when we could, teen clubs and all. So that, that was great because I got to play live and experience that from early on. I've had so many mentors uh, and that's one thing I, I think is great about music is that we teach each other to play. We teach the younger people and um, I, I guess it's maybe a little different uh, from other things, but there's a really hands-on thing in music. And right from the beginning, uh, uh, I had a guitar teacher who was a frustrated bebop player, and he turned me on to jazz, you know, in and, and my little suburban town. And, uh, and, then, and then my friend, I had one friend who was maybe a year ahead of me. And he, his name was John Davidson, and he was way more informed than I was about music. And we would go to clubs, and, and he was a mentor. Even though he was my friend, he was better than me. And he was a mentor. And then there was a, a other, you know, kids, really. And then when I went to Berkeley, I met other kids, you know, that, I mean, as well as the, the famous people that I met a little later on, like Steve Swallow and Gary Burton and Dave Liebman and uh, Miles Davis and, and those guys really were my mentors. But it was other just people my age that were better than me that you learn from and we're all together in this learning and, and I love that about the music and hopefully it's still happening like that for me. Um, you know, and uh, yeah. I'm ready.